Now we can take this little bent rod and there'll be a little bit of extra sand that's squished up along the side of the board. Kind of loosen that up. Now, it's a good idea before you actually start this to find out where your screw well was. Well, we looked at this was right in the middle of the pattern. There will also be some marks on the side of the board. There should be a Sharpie mark. So I'll take my little tool here and I'll just line it up with that mark, make a line across the middle, and then it's right in line with the pins this direction. And that tells me where I need to cut my sprue. Now the size of the sprue depends on how much metal the mold's going to take. This one's actually pretty good size, so I'm going to use a large sprue cutter. And what you want to do is the part with the rolled edge for your palm of your hand, try to get it straight up and down and then just go about a half an inch or so at a time and then you can sling the sand out. As you're going down, you can wiggle it in a circle because you actually would like to have a tapered sprue. That helps to prevent air from being sucked into through the sand into your mold as you're pouring your metal down the hole. So you want to just keep going a little bit at a time until you get down to the board and you'll be able to feel that. You should also see a little bit of parting powder on your sand. Some parting powder. Okay, so now we've got our sprue cut all the way to the bottom. Now we'll take this tool. This is a pouring cup cutter. Basically, we're just making a little bit of a funnel-shaped hole right at the top. You want to go about halfway up the sides of the triangle give yourself a nice little funnel that's easier to pour the metal into. Now we'll take the air hose and we'll just blow off all the and wearing half of it. And You don't have to worry about the sand that's falling down the screw. We're going to take it apart. 